What is all this fuzz about using the guitar pick? Hi, my name is Darwin and welcome to the Guitar Noob channel. Recently, I've been going over queries from new guitar players uh, at various online guitar communities. Uh, but bottom line, all they're asking is how to use a guitar pick properly. And while I think there's very little to it, it's apparently a challenge to them. So on this video, I'm going to share my approach and my thoughts about it. So stick around. First things first, how do you hold a pick? Fortunately, there's no one way of using a guitar pick. Different strokes for different folks, as they would say. Uh, but generally, generally speaking, it depends on the technique required to play certain music. Again, it depends on the technique required to play specific music, certain music, be it rock, uh, metal, country, Spanish, you name it. Me personally, I prefer to hold my pick using just my thumb and index finger. And uh, in my experience, this is the most common way uh, guitar players hold their picks. All I need to do is balance the pick on this ridge of my fingertip. I try to make sure that the, uh, the tip, the tip of the pick is aligned to my fingertip, like so. And then I would simply put my thumb perpendicularly to the pick to hold it in place. So the tip of the pick should be sticking out from this side of my thumb. That's it. It's really that simple. Of course, go ahead and fine tune your grip by adjusting your index, your index finger and your thumb as needed. But the basic idea is you need to find that grip that allows you to better control or manipulate your pick when you're playing. Now for the finer points. Almost always, I would make sure only a small part of the pick is exposed for playing. Uh, the idea behind that is that the, the less part of the pick uh, making contact with the strings, the less unwanted noise that I make. The only time I would expose this much surface of the pick is when I'm, do when I'm playing acoustic um, or free strumming or just playing those open chord uh, cowboy chords open string cowboy chords rather um, but uh, otherwise it's just this much and just as important I make sure only the edge of the pick makes contact with the strings and not the flat surface so this requires that the pick be held at an angle to the string or strings um, it's neither perpendicular that's weird or parallel flush to the strings like so um, but rather at a 10 to 30 degree angle you can see that so essentially the up and down motion of the hand causes the pick to traverse the string or strings only using its edges in addition to the pick angle to the strings I would also slant my pick downward just a little what I think it this does is that it lessens the pressure between the pick and the strings upon contact and personally I think it helps me play cleaner faster and even more efficiently okay now how hard or soft should I hold the pick uh, my general rule is I guess if I'm not able to grab it with my other hand um, that's all the pressure I need to, 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 hold, to hold the pick in place. Um, not strong like a death grip. Uh, or not to lose uh, either enough to lose the pick when strumming mid-song. That would not be cool. Now to apply the picking approach we've been uh, talking about on this video. My ask is at the very minimum, uh, practice for... 20 to 30 minutes a day, 15 to 10 to 15 in the morning, 10 and 10, 10 to 15 at night, 
uh, do this for maybe a week or two, I'm sure you should be able to get the hang of this, of this approach. So go ahead and start picking one string at a time. Remember the pick angle to the string and the slight downward slant. And at this point, I want you to be very conscious about the contact between the uh, pick and the string. As the pick goes back and forth, up and down, do that for maybe 30 seconds to a minute, then move to the next string, and so on and so forth. It's up to you. By now, I'm sure you, you probably know a chord or two. So let's try our favorite open C chord. Go ahead and strum. Back and forth. Again with a pick at an angle and slightly slanted downward. Some who are new to this picking approach may find it challenging at first. But I assure you, if you're consistent with your practice, with your daily practice, you put focus on it, after a week, a week or two or three, I'm sure down the line you, you realize that this was the easiest thing you've ever learned in your guitar journey. So be patient with yourself. Lastly, and definitely not the least, in regard to holding the guitar pick, I strongly recommend that the joint of your thumb be angled outward rather than flexed inward. Again, angled outward and flexed inward. This isn't necessarily the wrong way to hold the pick. It's just that you will find students struggling with their picking technique or you will hear them complain about pain in their thumb. You'll find them holding their pick with their hyperflex thumb like so. Over time, this could cause pain or even injury. So there you have it. Quick tips to kickstart your guitar journey using a guitar pick. And I'm personally super excited for you. As always, apply, experiment, practice, pass on any learning that you got from this video to family, friends, especially to beginners. That's what the Guitar Noob channel is all about. Thank you for watching. May you have the best day ever. Peace.